Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today we've got the Galaxy Tab S2, the 9.7 inch variant with us. In this video, I'm gonna unbox it, spend a while with it and give you my first impressions. Let's first get the Galaxy Tab S2 out of the box. We have very few accessories included. A 5V 2 amp travel adapter, a micro USB cable and a regular reading material. Frankly, I'm a little disappointed to see Samsung not throw in a pair of earphones here given the premium asking price. Moving on, let's get to the Tab S2 itself. This time around, it's made out of metal and feels very sleek. The default orientation seems to have been switched to portrait enough. I guess this is due to the display's 4 to 3 aspect ratio. The Tab S2 now sports Samsung's new revamped fingerprint sensor from the Galaxy S6. That being said, the internals are still from last year. The Tab S2 is powered by the Exynos 5433 chip. That's two sets of quad cores, four high-powered Cortex-A57 cores clocked at 1.9GHz each and four low-powered Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.3GHz each, coupled with a Mali T760 GPU. If the specs sound familiar, it's because we've seen this before on the Galaxy Note 4. Anyway, to the front, the physical home key that houses the fingerprint sensor is flanked by the capacitive recent apps and back keys. We have a 9.7-inch display above that. And up top, we have a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera, Samsung branding, and the sensor. To the back, we have an 8 megapixel rear camera, no LED flash here, Samsung branding again, and we have contacts for the flip cover to the sides. The bottom has a tiny made in India marking. We have nothing to the top and left, pretty clean, but the other two sides are packed. To the right, we have the SIM and micro SD slots, a microphone, the volume rockers, and the power button. To the bottom, we have the speaker grills with a 3.5mm headphone jack and micro USB port in between. So this Tab S2, like I said, sports a 9.7 inch Super AMOLED display. The resolution is 1536 by 2048, giving this a pixel density of 264 pixels per inch. Yep, that means the display is not as pixel packed as its predecessor. Anyway, being a Super AMOLED display, expect punchy colors, deep blacks, impressive contrast and excellent viewing angles. The Tab S2 currently runs on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop with Samsung's new and improved TouchWiz UI on top. This is the same one we've been seeing since the Galaxy S6. As always, Flipboard's inconsistent, so let's turn that off. And being a tablet, there's no support for themes yet. Of the 32 gigs of onboard storage, about 25 gigs is available to the end user, and there's also 3 gigs of RAM present here. The 8 megapixel camera seems decent. The shutter speed's fast, and I don't really see myself using a tablet camera. But like I said, it seems decent. Double pressing the home key didn't launch the camera app though. Anyway, the UI is again similar to recent implementations from Samsung and there's even a pro mode. There aren't a lot of options, but the mode's there. The settings menu offers you more choices. It's worth noting that this camera can shoot 1440p video. The 2.1 megapixel front facing camera seems adequate as well. The regular host of features like multi-window to run two apps side by side, resizing the window of a particular app, having the apps float on screen, Minimizing apps and having little icons float on screen, the private mode, the ultra power saving mode, they're all present and accounted for. Initial impressions, the UI feels fluid. Samsung seemed to have done a decent job here. The 9.7 inch variant of the Tab S2 is priced at 500 US dollars or 39,400 rupees here in India. At that price, the Tab S2 is quite an expensive buy, especially given that it packs internals that are already a year old. But then again, I really like how sleek and light this tab is. With a thickness of 5.6mm and metal all around, the tab feels premium. I'm also intrigued to see how the 5870mAh non-user replaceable battery inside fares. Anyway, I'm gonna be using the Tab S2 for a bit before coming out of the full review. If you have any questions about the Tab S2, leave that in a comment below and I'll try to answer it in my full review. So I guess that's it for this video. If you liked it, if you found it useful, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll also be leaving direct links as to where you can pick the Tab S2 up from. Use those links if you want to help this channel out. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.